What is good, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another one chunk at a time, Iron Man number 18. And yes, welcome back to the Chunk Man weekend special. If you did not see yesterday's video, go watch that now because there are about to be massive spoilers talked about in a moment. Obviously, we are joined by here my good friend, Nut. Yes, I named him Nut. And yes, we did get another scaling pet, you know, a, a blind squirrel nuts every once in a while. Is that... That's the saying, right? Again, as always, like the video, subscribe if you're new, follow the Twitch, and most importantly, today we have an ultra important poll in the description. Do not go vote on that poll if, unless you want to see massive spoilers. I'd wait until I talk about it in the video, but we won't hold back any further. Let's hop right into it and start grinding. Let's see what we're, where we ended up yesterday. Go. This, and I say this as unironically as possible, changes everything. Oh my gosh. This literally changes everything because of one quest. <laughs> it's like 1 a.m. so I can't be loud or else my wife would not be happy because I'd wake her up. But oh my gosh, <laughs> we can do the Lost City. Oh my gosh, we can go do the Lost City. Yes, yes. So we can get a Dragon Dagger, a Dragon Longsword, giving us our best in slots there. We can have Chaldar unlocked, which is a great Slayer Master to have unlocked for when we do our 85 Slayer grind. We don't have to use Vanica. <gasps> yes, yes. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, oh this is so good. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever been so happy to unlock a chunk. This is the one chunk out of any chunk that we could have unlocked. This is the one chunk. That I wanted to get before we had to start our 85 Slayer grind, and we actually got it. A very iconic moment on this account. The first time we will ever be taking a boat somewhere. There we go. We're taking the boat from here all the way to Entrana. All right, let's get on with the quest. This is the kill. Yes, sir. We can now chop our Draman tree. Let's get like literally as many as possible because. I've been known to drop these when I get frustrated or annoyed or just want to drop the drama and staff. And we need an extra one for the eventual, who knows when we'll get to it, RFD quest as well. So nice. We are just one step away from being able to complete the Lost City. Oh, man. I've waited so long for this. Yes, we're here. We finally have arrived. Congratulations. You've completed the Lost City. Now, three quest points in access to Xanaris, 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 whatever you want to call it. And, of course, we're lagging. But this unlocks so much for us. It's not even funny. First of all, we do have Chowdar, like I said earlier, which will make our 85 Slayer grind so much nicer. Like, infinitely more fun for me rather than having to use Vanica. We have out here where we can buy the Dragon Longsword and the Dragon Dagger as well. We have a bunch of other goodies over here that isn't really useful for anything. We can do uh, Cosmic Runes as well up there. We don't really need to worry about anything because we can also do both of those shortcuts. The only other thing in here that I do need to think about is if there is some sort of unique on the otherworldly beings that I'd have to worry about. I don't think there is. Let me double check real quickly. Nope, they have no uniques or anything best in slot for me on their drop table. They do have a, a Ruby Ring drop, with, which would have been nice at some point in my account, but not anymore. Let's head up to the bad boy, buy our goodies, and just enjoy life. I don't know. I, I'm smiling so hard. I, I'm over the moon right now. First of all, what in the world is an eclectic impling doing in here? Uh, is this a glitch, or is there always just, like, a random impling spawning in here? That is very unusual. But welcome to perhaps one of the most iconic possible moments on this account. 
Let's trade Jucat. Let's buy one Dragon Sword and one Dragon Dagger. Oh my gosh, bro. This changes so much. I'm not going to say the line. This changes a lot for what our account will hold in the future. Boom, there's a dragon sword, and there is a dragon dagger, which we can use the P++ that we got from our KQ grind on, which will make it very, very good as well. I believe that's all that we had to do for this one, I think. Honestly, I'm prepared, I'm ready, I'm excited for 18. Also, I am going to lock 39, because the only way that you can get to the other side is by having fishing contest done. If we don't have fishing contest done, we can't get to the other side, and the only way to get there is via teleport, so we're not gonna be able to do that. Let us roll a new chunk. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Ooh, okay. It doesn't unlock anything for us other than the fact that we can now do a little bit more of Fairy Tale Part 1. So that is good. Okay. And so it begins. Okay, let's head to Artie for the very first time. I genuinely don't know what this means because, oops, let's make this light. I don't think there is anything that started here. I'm not sure if we can do rat catchers. I'll have to look into that because we do have Remington. Hmm, we might be able to do rat catchers, which is an awful quest, but it's still nice to have done if we can do it. The preliminary quests for like Underground Pass are all started over in that chunk to the north. We do have a good amount of the zoo, which is really beneficial for us because that means we don't have to worry about monkeys anymore. Ooh, that's actually awesome. There were two, there's two animals on Turiel's task list that I can't do, um, which are monkeys and dogs. Now we can do monkeys because I can kill them through the cage here. So that's super good. We can now ensure our pet if we want to. Can I do cold war? That's another question that we have. Upon further review, there's really nothing here that we can start at the moment. I did look into Cold War. We can do all of Cold War, except for the fact that we need a mahogany plank, and there's nowhere on earth that we can get a mahogany plank right now. So, basically, this is just free real estate again. Uh, it unlocks so much for us. Look at all of those quest starts there uh, rat catchers we need keldegram as well for so nothing that we can start there i guess we can ensure a pet but the, again that's simply cosmetic that's like a quality of life thing there's no skill level requirement behind it so it doesn't start a chunk so let's see what it could be obviously 15 and 1 are the only things on the board that do start a skilling grind oh and uh you know 29 as well if we unlock 29 that's basically it like we're getting a whip if we unlock 29 we are going from now until the whip, if we get 29. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. That does start a couple of quests. I don't think we can finish them without having 39 unlocked. I'll look into that though. Turns out we could do all of sheep herder. So that is sweet. We will uh, just kill these innocent sheep that are allegedly sick incinerate their bones like a madman and then collect our reward this should be the completion nice four quest points 3100 gp to the collection now i'll check and see if we can do any of the other quests up here i believe the quests with i'm forgetting their names right now like plague city and those others biohazard i can't do until i have this chunk right here unlocked with that being done i think we're all done in this chunk i don't think there's anything else that we can do i'll double check but we may be good to roll another chunk now so it does look like we can't start any of the other quests and actually complete them so we are ready to roll a new chunk we also have access to 42 which we need to be mindful of which will unlock a 69 herbler grind as well what's it gonna be okay we got the bone yard now not too bad in that area. I don't think there's anything there. Yep, nothing there other than just some bones. So let's roll a new one. Oh, 
<laughs> so we can technically get to this chunk via this little area right here but obviously we can't get to the main area of this chunk unfortunately so we do have musa point unlocked when we do unlock 27 but other than that we don't have any way to get there so uh we just have that unlocked for the future whenever we can get there so that's nice oh yes <laughs> yes that is so good we just unlocked the other side of ferox enclave which means we now have a free stat resets oh that's what i've been waiting for for so long oh that is so good i don't think there's anything that starts with that i'll go check it out but this this may just be a super good quality of life chunk for us to get rather than unlocking anything Oh, yes, that is awesome. So I did double check Ferox Enclave. Nothing is started here. We just have an awesome quality of life just chunk right there. So that is, uh, that's really, really nice to see. I'm super happy about that. That's one of the best unlocks we could have gotten, honestly. Let's do a new one. Ooh. Okay. I will have to see what that entails. Is that Vedion? Okay, so this chunk actually does unlock Vedion. That's great. This is a good time to speak about wilderness bosses. At least the big boys. Alright, let's have a chat about Vedion and wilderness bosses real quickly. Some of you at this point are going to say, Oh my gosh, this is one excuse at a time, not one chunk at a time. Shut up. Okay. I did run a poll about... Five, six videos back talking about wilderness bosses because they were going to be coming up at some point. I expected them to come up before this, but they obviously haven't quite uh, until now. Wilderness bosses are easy to lure and to kill if you have the proper equipment. Now, all of the bosses, if you lure them into their safe spot, which is basically the only way to solo them, they have like a five to seven minute timer, it might just be five minutes, for you to kill them before they completely reset. I think one of them may keep their HP, but they basically entirely reset and you have to relure and re-kill over and over again. I was recently watching Mudkip's UIM series, awesome series by the way if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it, in which he went and did the wilderness bosses with very similar gear to what I have on now. Obviously, he had an anchor rather than a club and he had the dwarven helmet as well and rune gloves. So he did have more DPS and he was completely max combat and he still had an enormous amount of trouble killing these bosses with the weapons that he had simply because they are extremely weak to crush and unless you have a fantastic crush weapon you are not going to be able to do anything to them and Vedion, this is the absolute hardest case of the three wilderness bosses because if you don't kill him in time he will full reset and he technically has like four phases during his his boss kill so he's easy to lure but he's extremely hard to kill and I will, I, I'm thinking it will be near impossible for me to get a kill even if I did have max stats with this combat gear right now. And this is all not to mention until now that this is above 30 wilderness so these kills will take me 10, 20, 30 minutes at a time. There's a very good shot that I will get PK'd and I have no way out of there and will lose everything in my inventory beforehand. So in my poll a while ago I did propose that you guys would allow me to assign one item per wilderness boss or an item for the wilderness bosses so i am going to be doing that at some point but first i am going to be giving it the college try really doing my best to get at least one kill because i don't want to leave this type of content untouched without me at least giving it a shot so let's go see if we can get a vedion kill i'm almost guaranteeing we won't be able to but i gotta give it a shot you know Oh, well, there's death number one. I was, um, if we take a peek down here at the little box, uh, 35 minutes into that kill. 35 minutes into that kill. And, uh, just got PK'd. I've been going at this for a couple of hours now. <laughs> I'm really not thinking that there's any way that we can get this done. Well, there we go again. <sighs> Died to another PKer. Uh, I've been logged in for an hour. That one was uh, about 40 to 45 minutes on that kill. I just cannot out DPS the reset. It is simply impossible. It wouldn't even matter if I had max stats 
with the gear that I have right now, that's the main thing that we that we need an upgrade on. It is impossible or darn near impossible for me to get a kill and out DPS the reset and out DPS PKers coming, you know, every so often there. So for now, we are marking this as impossible. I really did try to spend about four to five hours trying to get a Vedion kill, but it, 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 I'm telling you, it is not possible. Even with max stats, I don't think it would be possible. If it is possible, it's beyond, beyond inconsistent. So there's really not even a point to, to giving it a shot right now because it's just, it's not plausible for anything. So let's roll a new chunk. I feel bad doing stuff like that, but it's just, I can't do it. I can't do it. We'll probably assign a weapon or two. I'm, I'm assuming the full Varax set or a bludgeon would be my best place um, because you can te technically make the full Varax set one item. So that's how I'd classify that. So let's roll a new chunk. Let's see what it's what next is going to be. Ooh. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's actually huge. Oh wow, okay. So we, we just unlock charter ships by doing that. Uh, the way that we get there is via this boat right here. We'll be able to take this boat a lot of different places in the world. Uh, this, this port is mainly for Corsair Cove, but it does take us here first. Unlocks an apple patch, or sorry, a fruit tree patch. I don't think it really unlocks much else unless Hadeji or whatever his name. I don't think he can, Hajidi. I don't think he can take us to... Shiloh Village without having the quest done, so I don't think anything there is unlocked. But we are going to need to go unlock a couple of new ports that we can now potentially roll as well. So let's go see which ports we can have access to now. There may have been a couple of chunks in between me rolling this one and rolling the Artie lever. I didn't realize that he could also take me to Ardoom, but I guess it doesn't really matter because that chunk that he has rollable is now rollable regardless. So let's head off to Brimhaven for the first time. Let's make this nice and clear for us. All right, which means we can now finally trade charter cruise ship members, which is great because we can actually have access to pineapples now, which will be our best way to getting super compost, which I'm very happy about. But more importantly, they have a charter options, uh, which means we will need to make all of these points rollable now. I think really the only ones are gonna be Catherby and Port Phasmatis and Port Kazar that we can make rollable. I think Musa Point is already. This is literally a chunk opening extravaganza. This is great. This is what the game mode should be. All right, so we can now roll this one, this one, and this one as well. So I guess it is time to roll a new chunk. My gosh, this is scary now. This is getting scary. Give me number 30. Ooh, okay. This is nice to have. We can't do the quest yet with the, what is it, Taurus Trap? Because we do need 20 unlocked, but that is nice to have done. I think we're all good. We can roll a new one. If we do unlock 20, then we'll do Taurus Trap. Okay. That's another little bit more to the Dragon Slayer quest unlocked so that is nice we already have all those ships there unlockable don't think we need anything down in the dungeon yeah the only thing down there worthwhile is the the wyverns which we can't kill for a long time next Ooh, yes that is very good that is very good I believe we can start... Ooh, we may not be able to do it without 42. That's the only concern here. We may not be able to do Plague City without 42 because I think you need to get back into the cauldron there. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else in this area that we can do. Yeah, from my looking at it, there's nothing that we can do because we need 42 unlocked if we're going to get any further with any of these quests over here. So basically, we just get to roll another one. Let's go. Abyssal whip. 
Here I come. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! Oh man! This is so <laughs> This is so good. This is so good. I can't even explain it. The only unfortunate thing is that we won't be able to get a dragon defender before this grind. But you know, it is what it is. We can now grind out a whip. Holy crap, man. If you aren't aware of what I'm talking about, we actually have we have access to Toriel right here, and he will reset any task. I have access to all of the task resets that he has. There is one sketchy one, which is jackals right down here, but I should be able to lure with a main if I need to, to be able to kill the jackals. But this means, for all intents and purposes, that we have started the 85 Slayer grind. Oh my gosh, man. Well, we stand on the border of perhaps the most one, if not one of the most important chunks that we could possibly unlock on this account. Let's make it nice colored and let's enter for the very first time. There we go. There is a music track unlocked principality and we are now able to come into Berthorp, which will literally change the entire account. So pretty much immediately after I rolled that chunk, I actually took a couple of hours to straighten out my bank because it was just in a horrendous spot before this. And I need to have a clean bank for Herblur so that I can know my progress as I go forward with it. So we cleaned up our bank a good amount. Some of this stuff down here doesn't look all nice, but you know, the stuff at the top the, where the resources are is, uh, is looking pretty good. First and foremost, let's grab one of the most important outfits on the account from here on out. Would have been really, really nice to have this a while ago but we can now buy it let's buy one graceful hood one cape one top one bottom glove and a boot there we go let's toss on full graceful for the first time on the account oh my gosh and we still have 208 marks of grace left over that'll get us over 500 full stamina's I believe it is so that'll be really nice when we get there in the future we will at some point have to come back and get the rogues outfit I'll probably save that for when I get bored or tired of doing um, a slayer I'll probably just come back here and and do some rogues den to get the uh, the full outfit or I'll probably do it a little bit of a time but we know the main reason why this chunk is so important so for slayer I am going to be point boosting in the beginning if you aren't familiar with what that looks like you basically do nine tutorial tasks in a row which take you five minutes you know five minutes to do one and then you can come back and do them and then you go to either or you, I mean really your best Slayer master that you possibly can for me it'll be either Crystalia or whatever her name is in Edgeville or Chaldar if I want to get Slayer XP and then we'll get a lot of point, points via that system so there are a few unlocks that I do want to get um primarily i mean we'll we'll get gargoyle smasher at some point but the the main ones are broader fletching and ring bling are the easily the biggest ones that i want to unlock bigger and batter is also up there as well it's really gonna boy boost our slayer xp in the long run i'm sure there's a couple of extends i'll want to get at some point an herb pouch would be really nice but the primary like i said is those three unlocks that we just went over bigger and batter broader fletching and ring bling and this is where the ultra important poll comes into place you can find that in the description under straw poll just click it it'll take you right there and you can vote with ring bling being unlockable that means we obviously have access to the Slayer Ring. By the way, this is not my Chunk Man account. This is my Not Slayer Bro account. Ring Bling can obviously take you one of a couple of different places. On my account, I only have access to the Stronghold Slayer Cave, the Mauritania Slayer Tower, and the Relica Slayer Cave. Obviously, we will not be going to the Stronghold Slayer Cave. The Mauritania Slayer Tower we can go to because we have unlocked. The question is, Relica Slayer Caves. And let me show you why. When you teleport... To the Relica Slayer Caves. It doesn't place you outside the cave. In fact, it places you within the cave itself. My question is, should I be allowed to use this Slayer Teleport because it is not breaking any chunks? 
I don't have to go outside and explore in any chunks to get here and I'm not breaking any of the chunk rules. For example, if you think back to episode 6 or 7 when I first unlocked my house, I did not have to have a, the Remington portal or any other portal opened up before I could go to my house. I was simply allowed to teleport there because it wasn't breaking any of the chunk rules. We were simply put into a place that didn't involve any real chunk. The Slayer Cave follows the same exact rule. This cave puts us exactly inside the Relica Slayer Cave. We will never have to leave to go outside into Relica or the surrounding areas to get here. So my question is, should I be allowed to teleport to the Relica Slayer Caves? I am almost inclined to do this regardless of the poll. I'm simply seeing where you guys sit on this. Again, it doesn't break any of the Chunk Man rules. I have been consistent with it, especially with the house teleport up until this point. So I just want to hear your feedback if it is something that you guys would want me to do or not do. Again, I'm almost inclined to do it regardless, but I do want to see your feedback on it. So go vote in that poll. Man, this is going to bring me back like five or six years. I, I don't even remember the last time I've said this. Toriel, what do you got for me? Yep, yeah, that's fine. What is our first task? 27 rats. Oh, these tasks are gonna suck. All right, this should just be one more goblin here and then we will be completing our ninth task in a row. There we go, we've completed nine tasks, which means along with our point boosting, this is when we will start to use Cheldar. Now, there are about three Cheldar tasks that we can't do at the moment. She does assign a lot of dragons, but I don't believe I can get any because I haven't started Dragon Slayer. And then I think there's only three. I think it's Fire Giants, Trolls, and Dagonauts. There might just be two tasks that she can assign that we can't do. So let's head off to Cheldar, get our first point boosting task and uh, see what it'll be. We may also look into point boosting with Crystalia in Edgeville once we get to like 50 because then it'll really be worth our, our, our time. So Chaldar, what do you got for us? Not trolls, not fire giants. Let's do it. Ooh, 166 cow fight. That's not bad. That's actually a pretty nice AFK task for me. And there we go. There's the completion of our task. We've completed 10 tasks for 50 points that is great to see now we're just gonna hop right back into it probably gonna go through this cycle for a lot of our points and then once we have all the unlocks that we want we'll go to Chaldar full time like I said there's only like three things she can't assign to us so um, it'll go by pretty quickly but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll grab a new one from Toriel and uh, continue on from there 19 ice fiends as easy as it gets. We just finished our 19th task. I believe it was Sour Hogs that we were at. Nice little task there. So let's grab a new one from Chowdar. Will it be one that we can do? Please, please, please. 133 Black Demons. Oh, we can do it, but it's really brutal. Well, since it has been literally, and I don't say this figuratively, literally years since I have done Slayer, at least a Black Demon task, I completely forgot how slow and monotonous this task is. But there we go. It is done. There is our 20th task in a row for 50 points. Don't know why I teleported to my house. We did a pretty odd route there. We were teleporting to my house, restoring prayer, and then running back into the dungeon to kill. I could get four or five kills a trip so it did take me like three and a half four hours to do that task which is pretty brutal and i only got one rune chain from it so um not the uh not the most efficient task in the world i'll be honest but now we are on to our next one let's go grab some from toriel and make our way up to 30 tasks in a row all right we've done 29 tasks in a row time to get another 10th chowdar Survey says 115 fire fiends. No. All right, let's try this again. Chaldar, don't screw me. Give me something nice, please. Please, please, please. Where are you? There you are. Okay, let's try this. Ooh, yes, we can do that. We can do that. I don't know where greater demons are other than Entrana, so this might be have to this might have to be a mage task. Uh, this might be, that might be our only place to do it isn't on, on Entrana, but I'll give it a shot. We'll see. Fortunately for us, our only greater demons are not on Entrana. We also have them in the Wilderness Cave as well, but that also means that we get PK'd. It also means that you get PK'd when a greater demon has this much health left, and they're your last one on the task, and you ask the PKer off, 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 and they just decide to kill you anyway. Well, that's why I'm coming back here and killing it. 
with an adamant 2H because I came and got my death pile after banking everything. Long story short, our task is done. 150 points in total. Let's restart the cycle. Chowdar has been bringing us pretty bad luck recently. Let's give our luck to Crystalia real quickly. For our 10th task, she does give 125 points rather than 50 points on a task. So maybe we can get lucky. Yes, I understand. Give me the task. 141 ice giants. I might have access to them in the wilderness cave. That's okay. If I do, that's actually super good. That's actually super good if we have access to them. Let me double check that. I think we do. Our very first milestone level coming in here. There is 50 Slayer. I saw it popped up pretty quickly there. I don't remember if that unlocks anything. It might unlock Turos. I actually want to find out real quickly. Does 50 Slayer unlock anything? Blood Veld. Okay, so we can get Blood Veld's from Chowdar or whoever else from here on out. Obviously, we do have ice giants in the wilderness cave, uh, the wilderness slayer dungeon as well, so that's pretty cool too. Wait, what? I did that wilderness task on the 10th task? Does it not give me the point boost? I am very confused right now. We just finished our task. I thought that should be for 125 points. Do they not stack on each other? That's really odd. Okay, well, I guess task complete, but we didn't get any points for it. Well, after that just idiot one head swifty move right there, we are uh, we're gonna grab a new task from Chaldar. No more cockatrices. <laughs> oh, why do you do this to me? All right, Chaldar, let's try this again. Don't be mean to me. No, wait, yes, I can do that. Oh, but no, also at the same time, 114 Infernal Mages. That's a good task, but a really crappy task. But I'm happy that I can do it at least. That's a positive. There's our 10 task streak, 50 points, 200 total. We grabbed ourselves a Hellhound task for a 10th task in a row. And there we go, 20 tasks in a row complete, 50 points, and 250 total. That means we are one 10 task away from completing our first 300 points, which we will likely buy the ring bling from. Chaldar, your foolishness may be the only thing standing between me and obtaining Slayer rings. Please be humble. No! Why do you do this to me? Ah, uh, time for another task reset. You Chaldar, be kind, be humble. Yes, 151 Cal fight. That is Slayer Rings unlocked right there. That is wonderful. Let's go finish that up. And then we'll get our uh, our Slayer Ring Bling on. Well, this is a huge moment for the account. There is 10 tasks in a row, another 50 points, which gives us a total of 300 Slayer points. The Slayer boosting has been successful. So let's head off tutorial. First, we will grab a new task really quickly. 45 wolves, not bad. But secondly, and more importantly, we will unlock Ring Bling. We can make the rings with 75 crafting. Let's confirm this. And there we go. Ring Bling has been achieved on the account. And we can now use Slayer Rings. We aren't going to be doing anything in the Relica Slayer Dungeon until this video comes out. And I can see the poll that, that, that comes out with it. So um, for the next couple of days, I guess, we'll just be point boosting without using that. I think next we're going to go for superiors. We'll go from there, I guess, but that is, uh, that's something very important to unlock. Oh, would you look at that? A pretty interesting drop right there. There is a dark mystic hat from our infernal mages task. I'm likely going to be diving very deeply in the beginning of next episode. Everything that we'll have to accomplish from this chunk. One of those things is obtaining all of the mystic, the light and dark mystic pieces. I believe we do have access to all of them. So there's a good start with our very first piece on our, uh, on our Slayer grind. Oh wow, we just got a lava battle staff. I believe that is one out of 1k from these dudes. Sheesh. This last rock slug will actually be the end of our task. With this task, we will be getting 150 points in total, 40 tasks in a row, 50 points for that one specifically. So I my next plan was to buy superiors, but since we are at 40 tasks right now, I'm not going to buy the superiors right away. Just in case the 50th task that we get is a task that we can't do, I do want to have some wiggle room to be able to skip that task because obviously the 50th task gives us like three times more the points uh, than a normal, you know, 10 tasks. So we are going to grind out uh, nine more tasks, grab a new one. Hopefully it's something we can do, buy some superiors and just 
have fun from there but this is going a little bit faster this is nice let's potentially grab our 50th task right here we will do a couple skips if she is not humble to us so chowdar don't make me use any 18 cave slimes wow i just got spooned so hard right there. <laughs> 18 cave slimes all right uh that's easy uh, I think we can do that one. Well, we finished that cave slime task in uh, literally record timing, a world record timing. I I, uh, I timed it and confirmed it myself. So we are up to 300 total Slayer points right there. And let us find bigger and badder. Increase the risk of certain Slayer monsters with the chance of a superior version spawning whilst on a Slayer task. Let's do it. Confirm. Yes, there we go. This will be useful for us for a little bit. I mean, primarily the only Slayer monsters that we can kill at the moment that are assigned by Toriel are Crawling Hands and Banshees, which is a small chance, and then obviously the Chowdar task, but that's going to be really nice if we do happen to get any increased XP per hour. Our next upgrade will be Broader Fletching, and then we'll probably look into doing a couple of these, but let's go for uh, Broader Fletching now. Not going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is going to wrap it up for the Chunk Man special weekend. I hope you all did enjoy very much. I do just want to put this out there, though. With the nature of how many chunks we have rolled recently, if I did miss anything, feel free to PM me, put it in the comments, shoot me a message on Discord. Let me know that I missed it, and I will go back and do it right away. There's just so much content that I unlocked this, this episode, it may be impossible for me to realize some small things along the way. So if there is something, definitely hit me up, let me know, and I'll go correct it right away. But I appreciate you all. Like the video if you haven't. Subscribe if you're new. Love you all. And I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.